So Python has this amazing trick that some other languages don't have, like JavaScript, that you can create lists. Well, actually, JavaScript has it with new array, like this new array. But it's not recommended. So with Python, you can create a list with as many items as you like. You could say, um, let's say numbers, it's equal to range from 0 to 20. And it will create a list of 20 items. Let me show you. If I print it, it will print, well, it says range, but it's really a list. Let me convert it into a list and you will see it more clear. So I run it again. So you see, from 0 to 19, because I said that I want it to 20, and it's exclusive, because it's made for lists. So it knows that it will start at 0. So if you want 20 items, it will it, it will have to stop at 19, so that you can have uh, from 0 to 19, instead of from 1 to 20. So when you have a tool like this, it's super cool, because then you can use it for a 4. You can loop all the items. And you don't even care about the items. You don't care what's the value of each, 0, 1, 2. You don't even care that. You care about the, how many times, how many times is the for, is the for loop is going to execute. And it's going to execute as many times as items are in this list. So that's perfect because we want it to execute 17 times. And then on each time, we're going to print x. That is each of the items in the range. You'll see it here. From, so it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. It will stop at 4 here because I have... I'm looping a range from 0 to 5, but it's supposed to be from 0 to 20. It's actually from z from 1 to 17, so from 1 to 17. So if I run that, you'll see that it's from 1. That's from 16, so it's one more. So 18 because it's exclusive. If you test it, you'll see that it's going to 17, perfect. And use the for loop. So it's saying that I'm not using the for loop. I think it's because I have to put this test. It's very strict. And it would like me to put the range here instead of putting it in a separate line. So let me put it here and try again. That's it. 